This here is the setup with the spatula handles taped together. The bottom, the top, the tape is arranged so it will not touch the metal of this bottle when I stick it in. And the bottom of the bottle, the handles stand up on a foam pad so they're not touching directly anything which is metal. That's one part. That's the bottle here. And that's a stainless steel bottle with a, I think it's a double walled, which I didn't have nothing else and it will pr probably not produce as much as I hope because there's this insulation between. Uh, here in the bottom you can see the clamps are strapped around it with with distances made from this uh, washers, plastic washers and the negative lead is hooked up to the outer uh, strap so the first thing I want to test if it's producing something when I hook up the negative to the bottom and the positive here to the bottle that's step number one see how much I assume I can produce that's one thing okay it already had produced I know already that it will produce uh, that's very weak electrolyte for my truck okay I hook it up to the transformer can you see the production between the bottle and the straps I have a very small transformer it's only 12 watts because this bottle here the setup I tried first killed the transformer from my Coleman cooler it drew so much uh, current that it killed my transformer it killed a few more also I had the experience with my truck up there after running it two months the system somehow it killed my alternator the diodes it's not charging anymore so I have to get a new alternator so there's something going on with low AC and current something is much more powerful because I had a switch on from a regular 110 volt 